الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبث في الله عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولدي نفسي بيده لا تدخل الجنة حتى تؤمنوا ولا تؤمنوا حتى تحابوا أولا دلكم على شيء إذا فعلتموه تحببتم أفش السلام بينكم رواه مسلم In this hadith in Sahih Muslim Hadith Abi Huraira Radiyallahu ta'ala an The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said By the one whose hand my soul is in None of you will enter paradise until he believes And none of you believes had to, uh, until he loves And should I tell you or notify you about something which if you do it will cause love between you? And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, spread the salams. What we learn from this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that of course no one will enter paradise except that they believe. They have to believe in Allah azza wa jal. They have to leave Vulumat Ilanur, leave darkness to the light, to the light of Islam. Iman, Tawheed, Sunnah. And from amongst those, to have true Iman, that true actualization of Iman, requires that you have love, meaning you love your, your brothers in Islam. Love your brothers and sisters in Islam. Hatta tu'minu. Until you love them, you have love for one another. And this is a part of, part of al-wala wal-bara. Loving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hating for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hating those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. So loving the believers is a part of iman. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, لا تؤمنوا That you do not believe, you, you, you don't believe until you have that love. And then he ﷺ told us how to attain that love. What is one of the ways in which we can attain that love? And he said, spread the salams, give salams. So by just a simple act of iman, a very simple act that all of us can do, Just give salams when you see your brother or your sister in Islam. Assalamu alaikum. That this is an actualization of love and it will cause love to be spread amongst you. So not only is it uh, actualizing that love, actualizing that iman, but it will cause you to increase in iman. And those are some of the wonderful benefits of that hadith amongst the many. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who love one another strictly for his sake. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.